you can see I've completed all the knots and outlining around the design of this address sign. So now I'm working on doing the uh, corners here that have these uh, thin lines. And really, if you look closely, what it is is uh, an ichthus or a Jesus fish. You can see the shape here of those intersecting lines, and then it's just kind of following uh, that shape around the outside. And it creates kind of a, a cool topographic sort of uh, look that still has the feel of that shape without being uh, super in your face or uh, real bold about it. So it's kind of a cool, subtle uh, design aspect, I think. And in the middle is the, uh, these kind of football-shaped uh, two-sided chips. And they're not real huge, but they are big enough that uh, I'm going to go ahead and carve some uh, smaller relief chips out of them just to make those a little bit uh, easier to get the cuts I want. So the two sides of these corners are mirror images are the same design, but as they do wrap around that 90 degree corner, it means they also change uh, completely the grain direction and how they're cut. So uh, it's not necessarily just a simple uh, repetition of making the same cuts across both sides. Um, this side here as I'm coming across the grain is a lot easier to navigate and uh, don't really have to worry nearly as much about what the grain's doing. As I get away from myself here, I sometimes have a hard time seeing where that edge is. I'm trying to follow. Here you can see I started to get uh, pretty far off my line and was cutting into uh, this ridge uh, as I was having a hard time following that. So I'm going to see if I can glue that down so I don't lose out on a piece there. Usually when I'm gluing stuff uh, like this, I end up with making sure that I keep more than I really want there and then I can always cut it back away once the glue dries. But once I remove it, once it's gone, that's it. There's not really any going back so I'd rather uh, that piece came off, but I guess it looks like that might not have been necessary for this. So I'll push the glue into this little kind of sliver there. It really doesn't take much. You see, I'm just using a little tiny uh, tip of this uh, tweezers here, and even that is too much. Just a little small amounts is all it takes and I'll hold remove the the excess glue 
out of here so that's not uh, interfering with the finish that I apply later. And then just kind of hold that down for a few seconds, give the glue a chance to do its job, hold that in place. wants to hold on very well. Make sure I get it down in there between the two pieces of wood. And obviously the goal is always to not lose stuff like that, to not need uh, to, to use the glue, but really I don't think there's a big, uh, any real shame in, in doing that. I've heard an experienced carver, I don't know if it was Wayne Barton or someone, who said if any chip carver claims that they never have to use glue, they're probably lying. It just kind of happens sometimes. With these uh, two chips, two sides of the chip that come to this point, I always want to make sure I don't cut too much off. I don't want to lose that uh, point right down there in the deepest part. So I find I usually end up making those first cuts right there that I just made a little bit uh, shallower than what I actually end up needing and having to come back, as you've seen a couple times here which again not a big deal uh, to, to make that last adjustment. I'd rather go back in a second time and, and make that kind of clean up cut rather than lose some of the chip and uh, weaken the design there.
So now, as I come around this side, we see uh, this next chip that's going to come down here actually splits and comes back this way too. Uh, so before I start getting into that, I'm going to go ahead and work on the inside part of this uh, side of the fish. And I can meet those up on both sides. And this cut can be a little bit tricky as it transitions from kind of with the grain to along the grain and then against the grain on the back side here. Uh, it's easy to get a little bit of uh, the grain kind of tearing out on you rather than nice slicing like this. So right here in the middle 